Hey everybody, Mr. McIntosh here and Mac OS Monterey Public Beta has been released. Do you want to join in on the fun and test out Mac OS Monterey? You can and I'm going to show you really quickly in under five minutes how to enroll into the Mac OS Monterey Public Beta. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. So we got a lot to cover. Let's jump in and get started. Okay, first of all, we need to talk about something really important. If you want to install a beta operating system like Mac OS Monterey, you got to make sure that you have it on a machine that you can use for testing. As you know, betas can have different issues. That's why they release into the public so they can find these problems and fix them before the release in the fall. If you have a test machine, the best thing to do is back it up. You can use Time Machine or USB hard drive to back up all your data and it's fully recommended before you make the jump to the upgrade. Now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the requirements. Can your Mac install Mac OS Monterey? So I've got a list here on my website and I'll include all these links in the description of all the Macs that are compatible with Monterey. So now that we have the requirements out of the way, now we can talk about how to install the beta profile to begin the beta process. The first thing we want to be able to do is sign up for the beta. So go to beta.apple.com and you can see that the new software beta program page is here. All you need to do is click on the sign up button. On the next page, once you're enrolled, this is the page that you're going to see. Enroll your devices to get public beta software. And I've got Mac OS selected here so we can see Apple is recommending to use Time Machine to back up your Mac. And then the next part is, is that we have to enroll our Mac. Click this button right here and it'll download the public beta access utility.dmg and then we can download the public beta. So now that we have that, we've already got the public beta access utility down here in my downloads folder. We'll click on that and we're going to install it. I'm going to show you the software update pane before we get started. I'm on Catalina for this demonstration, but if you're on Big Sur, you're not going to see anything here. If you're on Mojave, you'll see Big Sur. So we'll leave this in here so we can watch what happens once we install the public beta utility. So we'll double click on this and make sure again, no time machine has been detected. Apple's warning you one more time to make sure you back up. Click OK and click continue and continue. Agree. And then we'll enter in our password here. And there it goes. And you can see it starts to find an update. We can wait here for a second for it to find the update. And there we are. Mac OS Monterey Beta is now in our software update. Okay, now all we need to do is click upgrade now and it's gonna immediately start to download. There it goes. The download is at least 11 to 12 gigabytes, so it's going to take some time to fully download depending on your internet connection. But when we are finished with the download, the Mac OS Monterey Beta app will start up behind the scenes. It'll bounce in the dock for about 10 to 30 seconds, and then you'll see the splash screen, and we'll jump to that part now. Okay, the download is finished and the Mac OS Monterey app will be in your applications folder now, right here. And you can use this to create a USB installer so you can install fresh if you want and you can click on the link above this screen and I'll walk you through how to install Mac OS Monterey on a USB flash drive so you can install it fresh. But now that it's in applications, we can click upgrade now and it'll start the Mac OS Monterey app or it might've already started for you. And now we can walk through the process. We can click continue, agree, Agree, and then Macintosh hard drive is automatically selected if it's your only hard drive, and all you need to do is click continue, type in your administrator password, and hit enter. And there it goes. It's going to copy the installer files from the Mac OS Monterey beta app to the internal hard drive. Then it's going to reboot to the installer in a black screen with a progress bar. And before you know it, between 20 and 30 minutes, you'll be back up on Mac OS Monterey. Now that's way number one. That's the official way that Apple gives you the instructions on how to do. I'm going to show you a way that we can manipulate the seed util utility to be able to unenroll and enroll in the beta really quickly. And we'll do that right now. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to use the Seed Utility binary application to enroll you into three different Mac OS Monterey beta programs. You can use this to be able to jump from Dev Seed, Public Seed, and Customer Seed in no time flat. So first, all we need to do is go to my page here, and, I'll, and again, the link will be in the description. We can scroll down, and I show you the different commands that we can use into the different beta programs. Developer Seed is for Mac OS developers. Customer Seed is usually used for the previous version of Mac OS, for example, Big Sur betas are still out, so we still need to be installed those. And then the public seed is the one we're talking about today. It is for the general public to be installed the beta software. So right now we're in the public seed. Okay, the easiest way to tell which beta that we're enrolled in is the current 
option. So we can go down here and we can copy this whole command here to see which beta program we're in. So just copy command C and then go back to our terminal window and paste it. We have to make sure we run it as sudo as an administrator. So we'll hit enter and we'll be asked to enter in our password. Now we can see that we're currently enrolled in the public seed and this is the catalog URL to be able to get the software updates. Now let's say we wanted to jump to the developer seed. We can do that too. So let's scroll up here, go to the developer seed, copy this right here, command C, and then go back to our terminal and then command V to paste it and then hit enter. And then now we are in the developer seed. We can open up system preferences now and we can see that we are now in the developer beta seed. After that's done, let's say you wanna remove yourself from the beta and you don't wanna get beta updates anymore. All we need to do is scroll up here and we can use the unenroll command to get out of the beta. So we'll click, we'll click on here, copy this, go back to the terminal, we'll paste this command to unenroll. And now it says we're unenrolling and now we're in no seed, we can go back in the system preferences and we should be able to close it out and, re and reopen it to refresh the settings and should go be go back to normal and there we are we're on Catalina and it shows that Mac OS Big Sur production version is ready to go and then that's it that's installing Mac OS Monterey beta through the official app away and also using the seed utility to be able to quickly change seeds and unenroll if you have any questions post them in the comments and I'll answer them if you like this video and it created value for you give it a thumbs up and if you want Want to see more videos like this in the future click that subscribe button and if you're already a subscriber i really appreciate it and we'll catch you in the next one thank you